Hey guys, it's HK Boba, and today we're going to learn about movement in Naraka. Having good movement can give you a huge advantage in micro 1v1 situations, as well as help you win more games in a more macro high level sense, helping you reposition and escape from bad fights. So let's get right into it. We're going to break this video down into four main parts. Movement on the ground, grapple hooking, movement on the wall, and finally movement and recovery whenever you get knocked down. Starting with our movement on the ground, I won't cover the basics too much such as how to slide or, or how to walk or anything like that, but instead I really want to talk about how to string these together in order to take advantage of the movement system. So one of the biggest things is sliding. You're going to notice that a lot of higher level players are consistently doing this slide and jump. So if you're not already used to this slide jumping, I highly recommend learning it. When you slide, you get a little bit of a speed boost and then you can jump out of your slide to quickly go into another slide. Or you can slide and press shift to do your secondary roll. If you want to do this roll to avoid an attack, I highly recommend holding the shift button. Because when you do this slide and you press shift, if you only let go, you're going to go into this crouch state and you might get hit out of it. So if you're going to do the secondary roll, I really recommend holding down the shift after you finish the roll so that you go back into a sprinting position. And one of the biggest benefits of this is certain weapons can really capitalize on this jump. For example, with the greatsword, the dash attack doesn't have very much range, but the jumping attack does have a good amount of range. So if you're chasing someone, you can slide into a jump into this attack and it'll make it much easier to chase after any opponents that are trying to run away. Take a look at this example. I told this player to run away from me every time I come in for a slash. And when it came to my dash attack, he was able to quickly get away from it. But instead, if I went for the sliding jump slash, I was able to easily catch up to him. Another bonus is that when you are sliding, you're technically in a crouching state. So with certain weapons, you're going to see a lot of benefit through using this sliding right click instead of uh, simply doing right click out of your dash attack. Although the range is a bit better than my horizontal dash attack, it's not going to do as much damage or have as much range as that. Since if you can land a crouching right click with pretty much every weapon in the game, you get a right click follow up to bring them back to the ground and you can start your tech chase. So doing so with a slide can just make your movement a lot quicker, getting in and out of the range to land this instead. And while we're on the topic of moving on the ground, one of the things you should get used to first is holding your focus attack and dashing out of it. This is huge in 1v1s because it's almost like one of the best ways to do a, a sort of feint if you played For Honor or Chivalry or anything like that. Because when you dash up, they, they see this sort of charge attack, they're probably inclined to press parry. So if you come up and they press parry and you press attack, you see you can dash out into an attack, baiting their parry and punishing them for it. So this can be one of the best ways for you to kind of play this neutral game. And also this can really help you stay in and out of your opponent's range. So you can also whiff punish them if they, maybe they whiff three moves and then you come back in at the final and take advantage of that whiff. That's going to, that's going to be one of the safer ways you can start an attack and pressure in Naraka. So yeah, just go to training and practice doing this. Come up, focus attack, dash back out, come up, focus attack, dash back out. And then if you, if you think you bait out a parry, go back into your dash attack. And with most weapons in the game, aside from the greatsword, any dash attack will give you one extra attack guaranteed. But we'll talk more about that in the future combo guide. And finally, one of the last things I want to talk about is moving with the dagger. When moving around with the dagger, out of any attack, if you dodge, you get this sort of yellow dodge that has much further range than any normal dodge. So if you're trying to escape or you're trying to play neutral, you can actually get a lot of range by doing this. As you can see, you're pretty much armored the entire time through making it really difficult for everyone trying to catch you if you're trying to grapple you or anything, they're not going to be able to. You're going to be able to armor through the grapple and keep escaping. So that's one of the huge benefits of dagger right now. You can attack, get into this yellow dash, into the blue focus attack, and keep canceling into your yellow dash. To execute this, all you have to do is press dodge after you've pressed attack with dagger, a uh, normal light attack, and you're going to get into this yellow dash. While you're in the yellow dash, if you press uh, horizontal attack again, you're going to go into the blue focus attack, which can propel you forward. And, and now you can just go from shift to left click, shift to left click, or you know, if you change your keys, then it's dodge to horizontal, dodge to horizontal, and you're just going to repeat this process until you run out of stamina. But this is going to be really helpful to try to get away from sticky situations, or you can just use it as a way to kind of play neutral against your opponents. And this next thing is just a fun little thing I found. I don't use it too much, but I have found some use for it, so I figured I'd bring it up. If you hold control, you're gonna be able to walk. And if you go up against the wall, 
then you go into this sneaky mode so you can like look around corners and stuff. It, it, it's been useful here and there, but I just thought it was really funny that this was in the game because I never knew it existed. So if you also didn't know and that was the first time seeing it, hit me with that like button. Now I want to know how many people here didn't know that existed because I certainly didn't. And while you're at it, please consider subscribing. It helps the channel so much and it lets me know that you want to see more tutorials like these. Thanks. Next, let's talk about grapple hooks in this game. Grapples is one of the biggest factors of Naraka, and there's so much to talk about. The first thing to know about grapples is the two attacks you have coming out of it. Your left click is going to be an attack that goes towards the target you're grappling, and then your right click is going to be one that hits downwards. So depending on where you're grappling or how much higher you are than your opponent, you're going to want to use one or the other. But there's another usage to the left click attack, is if you're grappling like this and you attack, see how far it sends you. This can be very useful to get around the map or say there's a bunch of people on you and you want to get out of a sticky situation, you can just grapple on this and then spin out of there. Look how high you go. So that can make it really difficult for your opponents to chase you if you have grapples and something to grapple up towards. Let's move on to talking about how to use grapple hooks in a fight. And to do that, let's kind of work backwards. Let's talk about what is good to use against someone who's grappling you so that we can kind of think backwards and figure out how to stop someone from countering your grapples. So when you get grappled, one of the best ways to fight against it is to simply, if you expect the grapple to come, to charge a focus attack and knock them out of the air. So when using the grapple hook, since we're talking about movement, one of the things to be aware of that you can do with the grapple is to press C in order to cancel your grapple. This will allow you to cancel your grapple into a parry in the air, which can come in handy if you see the opponent was ready for your grapple and about to knock you out of the air, just press C and you can parry in the air. One final quick tip with the grapple, if you grapple someone and you don't press anything and you just like run into them, you're going to do a little kick that kind of knocks them down. And this kick is kind of situational, but it can be useful for certain weapons such as the katana. Since the focus attack leaves them standing, you can grapple on, kick them, and then slash them while they're on the ground. Alright, now let's move on to the next topic, walls. There is wall running, but to be honest, I personally rarely use it. Uh, if you know any tricks with wall running that you found handy, let me know in the comments below. But I hardly ever do wall running. The most I will do when it comes to wall movement though is if I if I do happen to be on the wall, holding attack will let you propel off of the wall. And this can be very useful in either say someone's chasing you and they're attacking you and then you can get on the wall and attack them back with this and usually they don't expect that so that might be a way for you to kind of turn on your opponents and get some good damage off or you can use it as a form of escape if you're someone chasing you that way you can just jump on this wall you know and just kind of propel yourself away from them and this definitely works in conjunction as well with say you were escaping with your grapples you can grapple onto a high point and then from here start charging an attack and move that way so it all kind of works together in order to escape if you need to. And last but not least, I want to talk about movement when you're knocked down. There's a couple things you can do. You can either press jump to stand up right away so that you can stand up and parry or stand up and get into a focus attack if they're just kind of mashing on your body. Or another thing you could do is if you press any direction, you will roll towards that direction before you get up. So just kind of depending on what your opponent wants to do, you might want to get up and parry right away, for example. Or if you see your opponent trying to maybe tech chase you with a focus attack, you can get up and dodge right away to get out of the range of the focus attack. Alright guys, that's pretty much all I have for today. Movement in Naraka is so important and I hope you guys found this guide helpful. As always, thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.